Welcome to this season three finale of the Pro-Am Golf Show brought to you by SLH Picker Service and Pile Driving. I'm Meg Storms. And I'm Jason Strudwick. Today we're at more than just a golf course. We're at a full-on resort at the beautiful Trestle Creek Golf Resort. When completed, this course will boast 27 holes of championship golf. Today we will see the Jack Pine 9 that opened in 2012 and the Creekside 9 that opened this summer. There is one more 9 to be completed in the future called Magnolia. Our guest today is no stranger to the Edmonton area, having captained the Edmonton Oil Kings in the WHL. He recently signed a two-year deal with the Buffalo Sabres defenseman Mark Pasek. Mark, thank you so much for coming out here today. The final guest of season three. How does that feel? Ooh, that's a pretty big honor. A lot of pressure, actually. Yeah. You know, we choose these very specifically. So we expect big things out of you today. Hey, well, you might want to lower your expectations, <laughs> but we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. How's the golf game looking? Ah, uh, it's not that bad, not that good. It, I mean, we'll see. I haven't seen you guys play, so I don't know what to say. You watch the show. You know we're good. <laughs> All right, we both know that. <laughs> All right, we're going to head out to number five here and meet up with head golf professional Tony Griffey. He's going to start us off with a tip. It's now time for the pro tip brought to you by ATB Financial. We're here with Tony. What have you got for us, my man? Today we're going to work on the most important position in all of sports, the follow through. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> Golf is no different. Getting that back heel in the air, getting the belt buckle to the target, hold, 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 and why you should not keep your head down, why you should not keep your eye on the golf ball. Okay, this is interesting. <laughs> I'll get you to line up and show us the way. The most important position in all of sports is to finish the motion, the follow through position. If I was throwing a baseball and I stopped, there goes all my power. More importantly, there goes all my accuracy. Finishing that motion is the most important thing. If I was shooting a free throw, finish the motion is the most important thing. Tennis, finish the motion. If I was throwing darts, drink a beer, then finish the motion on the follow through. All the sports follow through, follow through, follow through. And in golf, good follow through has three things about it. Three things about my position right now. Number one, my back heel's up in the air. Number two, my belt buckle's facing right at the target. And number three, I'm able to hold that position till the ball stops moving. Now, why those three things are so important? Number one, the back heel in the air. It brings up the first theory of golf. How does that golf ball get in the air? What you want to do is you want to drive down on a golf ball. When you drive down, it puts backspin on the ball. The ball explodes off your club and rises. Now, if there's any weight on my back foot, my whole motion is going to be to hit up on it. Weight on the back foot, I hit up. Second thing is that belt buckle. Why do we want it to face the target? If I stop my follow through, belt buckle to the right, golf ball to the right. Every single time, number one reason people slice is they don't finish their golf swing. Now, have you ever heard, keep your head down, keep your eye on the ball? Everybody in the world says it. It is without a doubt the worst thing you could possibly think about when you hit a golf ball. If I keep my head down and my eye on the ball, I don't care how flexible you are, it's physically impossible to swing past here with my head down, my eye on the ball. I cannot get to this position with my head down and my eye on the ball. Wonderful. Well, we'll get you to hit another shot here. <laughs> oh, you make that look easy. Yeah. It's a follow through. Oh, nice shot. wow. Thank you. That's All legit. Right. Nice one, Tony. And the cool shoes. Nailed it. I'll let you follow that one up, Struds. Have okay. at her. Let's do it. Get going. It's coming in. I don't know if I got enough oh, belt buckle drop. on that one. Yeah, nice shot. Not bad. I'll take it. All right. Gotta go. Pretty sweet. Nice yeah. shot. Nice shot. The guys are playing the game today. Oh. Points for having covered us in sod. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty good shot, Chicken too. Oh, that's a good yeah. bounce. Yeah. Playing wow. the draw. Nice. Wow. <laughs> All right, well, two are on the green, one is not. We're going to take a quick break and come back and finish out the rest of the first hole on the Pro Am Golf Show brought to you by SLH.
Adjusting, improving, adapting, growing. SLH Picker Service and Pile Driving is ready to work with you. Since 1985, SLH has built a reputation for being tough enough to handle any job, just like the tough Albertans we work for. Oil field hauling, pile driving, crane and picker services. With branches in Slave Lake, Wabaska, Whitecourt, and Atchison, we've got you covered. Call today. Built to last. SLH. One of golf's greatest getaways is in your very own backyard, the Quarry Golf Club. Come enjoy 27 holes right along the River Valley. The brand new clubhouse can host any event up to 300 people. Tournaments, Christmas parties, business meetings, we've got you covered. Visit thequarryedmonton.com. Turn to the golf tournament specialist for your company or charity event. The Ranch Golf and Country Club has perfected the art of making your day a success. Visit theranchgolf.com for bookings. Welcome back to the season finale of the Pro-Am Golf Show brought to you by SLH Picker Service and Pile Driving. Today we are at the Trestle Creek Golf Resort with Buffalo Sabres defenseman Mark Pesek. After our first shots, I'm slightly off the green, but I'm dangerous from there with a seven iron. Uh, enough about that, let's talk about you. Um, are you a guy who plays a lot of golf in the off season? Uh, I try to get out as much as possible. Uh, once or twice a week is a good week for me, and then I'll go two weeks without playing at all. So. Uh, whenever I can, I try and get out. Grew up playing? Yeah, I think ever since I was little, my dad tried to get me out and teach me, but uh, he's not the best golfer, so. <laughs> so. Short lesson. Yeah. <laughs> well, we saw your first shot already. We have more shots to see from you, but we already know that you have a swing. What other sports did you play growing up? Uh, I pretty much played everything, football, soccer, but uh, the other big one was volleyball for me. Uh, I played that up until grade nine, and then I had to decide between volleyball and hockey, and uh, I was hockey. Well, what position were you on the court? Like a little barrel? Isn't that the guy that kind of moves around a lot? Yeah, no, I was a setter, actually. Because um, I started, and I was a little bit shorter than everybody, so that yeah. was all I, could, all I could really do. Yeah, you'd be short for a volleyball player now. Yeah. I mean, those guys oh, are yeah, giants. Absolutely. I mean, we'd all be short, especially Meg. Did yeah. you just oh, want yeah. to say libero? Yeah. That's a great word. I'm sorry. Sorry for being professional, right? <laughs> That's the only position you know. <laughs> That's what we're all about, is professionalism. All right. Well, now we're going to test, well, you're chipping, you're putting, I'm putting. We'll let you go after it first. It's time to play out the rest of the first hole, brought to you by Pro Star Wall Service. Bump and run. Last show of the year. And he comes through again every oh, wow. single time. Is that a gimme? No. Oh my I've seen God, you missiles. You, you guys are unbelievable. Okay, <laughs> go ahead. Your turn. I appreciate how he coordinated his shirt, shoes, and putter. I only have one one golf outfit. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. It's nice for somebody to put some effort Ooh. into a wardrobe. Boo. Stay there. Stay out. We'll mark it quick. Uh oh. A little Run. bit light, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable, you guys. Are you really good line. Are you guys trying to be bad putters? Really good line. Holy jeez, they're line. still up. I'll go get my gimme, I guess. Put pressure on all. Oh, oh wow. Ooh. Nice. Left myself with a straight uphill putt. You no like problem. that, eh? Bam. He's getting a little cocky now. Good shot. Good shot. That's high fives yeah. for that one. Yeah. Nicely done. Go ahead. Okay. Oh. oh, oh! you made it. <laughs> Pretty impressive, Meg. All right, that one is a push. Yeah, we'll take it. Mark and I were in that hole. Strudwick was not even it came, on this I was course. the closest. I don't even have to putt. It was a gimme. We're at Trestle <laughs> Creek today. If gimme. you could show up, that'd be nice. Well, I've been here all day. Killing <laughs> it. <laughs> all right, we're going to go meet up with the owner here, and he can tell us more about this awesome golf resort. And now we're joined by the owner of the Trestle Creek Golf Resort, Mr. Alvin Clark. Alvin, thanks for having us out. Thanks for coming. We're really, really looking forward to showing you our, our resort. Well, I'm blown away by the scope of this huge development. Tell us what it's all about. Well, thank you, Jason. It's a 600-acre, four-season resort. Uh, we're building a five-star resort here. Uh, we have 27 holes of golf opening up, uh, and it's, um, it's a world-class resort with a world-class golf course. You know, I had three kids. I could picture myself being here because there's something for everyone, including the young ones. Absolutely, we're building our whole theme, starting out with a family place that has it all. And that's what we're building, a water park, a horse barns, a lazy river run, zip lines, beach. Uh, it's just a great place to have your family. 
but the golf course. I mean, that's where the guys might be playing. I know the ladies play too, but the guys want to be out here, and this course looks unbelievable. Absolutely, it's a Brad Dupuis design course. Uh, Brad's a world-class designer. Uh, he brought all his skills to the table here, and uh, we've got, uh, we're really proud of opening our second nine with great reviews, anybody that's already played it. I'm guessing you love the water park? I love the water park. It's, uh, it's my focus of the whole project to bring the kids together. We had uh, last uh, Saturday, we had over 400 people up there enjoying the, the water slides, slip and slide, lazy river run, beach. Uh, it's a great place to be. All right, thanks for this. It's been great. Well, thank you, Jason, for coming out. We're looking forward to showing off our resort. All right, now we're going to go to a break. When we come back, we'll be taking on the second hole. Adjusting, improving, adapting, growing. SLH Picker Service and Pile Driving is ready to work with you. Since 1985, SLH has built a reputation for being tough enough to handle any job, just like the tough Albertans we work for. Oil field hauling, pile driving, crane and picker services. With branches in Slave Lake, Wabaskin, Whitecourt, and Atchison, we've got you covered. Call today. Built to last. SLH. Northern Bear is Edmonton's premier golf experience. This Jack Nicklaus course is perfect for any tournament or function. Be a part of the Bear, offering a wide variety of memberships and passes. Book now at northernbeargolf.com. Welcome back to the season finale of the Pro-Am Golf Show brought to you by SLH Picker Service and Pile Driving. Today, we're at the beautiful Trestle Creek Golf Resort with Buffalo Sabres defenseman Mark Pesek. After the first hole, Mark and I pushed it. Strudwick wasn't even involved, but it's time what? to play the second hole brought to you by Cougar Paint and Collision. Okay, no one seems to have faith in me that I can carry this water, but... Uh, so you're going for the green? Sometimes you just got to make it happen. It's got to get the belt buckle going the right direction. And everything should be OK, <laughs> according to Follow through, buddy. Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh, see, <laughs> that is a monster. Oh. Oh, not on oh, the green. What a monster that was. That's for all the non-believers out there. I would not want to be going second after that one, I'll tell you that right now. Oh, good hard shot. Might be tracking towards the bunkers. Yes. Bunkers, oh, but it's safe. Good shot, man. Oh. Good shot. Really hard to follow up that first shot. Good job. Better than in the water. <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys scared? I'm intimidated by someone who wears a cardigan to play golf. Pull over. Oh, of course I did that. No. Oh, man. You should really lay up because I can't hit my driver lately. That was a tough one. Chip and a putt. Could still make Chip and a putt par. for a bogey. <laughs> Here we go. Go. Not bad at all. Now just one putt. See, I've predicted it up to this point. When the Oakings came back, it must have been really exciting for you to be the first overall pick, or first pick by them, sorry. Yeah, it was, uh, it was great to have junior hockey back in Edmonton mm -hmm. and to be uh, a part of things getting started again. It was uh, definitely pretty cool. What was it like for you growing up in Sherwood Park? Your whole family is there. They get to come to all the games. A lot of kids get displaced when they go to junior hockey. You had it all right in your backyard. Yeah, I think it was uh, definitely lucky to stay at home for uh, the four years that usually, like you said, a lot of kids move out. Um, I think it's a different experience. Would have been fun to get out and move out, but um, I did that after uh, <laughs> playing in Rochester. So I think I got the best of both worlds, so it's all right. <laughs> and then to be named captain says a lot about you. You guys make it to the Memorial Cup that year. What was that whole experience like, even if you didn't win? Yeah, that was awesome. Big honor to be uh, a captain for the team. Um, after obviously being along there for the start when things weren't so good. Um, and then, like you said, playing in the Memorial Cup was an uh, unbelievable experience. Unfortunately, they didn't win, but uh, they won it, I think, the year after. So uh, 
It was a good step for the organization. You helped them get yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> now let's talk about getting drafted. Uh, it's always an exciting time. What was it like when you when you finally heard your name get called? Ah, uh, yeah, that was uh, probably one of the coolest moments of my life uh, so far. Um, it's definitely a long, long time waiting there. Um, and waiting and hoping and not knowing if it's going to happen, <laughs> yeah. but uh, once it finally happened, uh, most of that was, that was a blur. Are you pretty scared in that moment that you're not going to go in the first day, that you won't be one of the first 30 teams? Yeah, that's definitely uh, in the back of your mind. You sit there all, um, I probably sat there for two and a half, almost three hours anyways, and if I would have sat uh, another hour and a half and had to go home by myself with my parents, I would have been, uh, uh, with no team, it would have been a little bit different, but uh, it was Definitely lucky to get that first day. Do you still get a jersey when you get drafted? Yeah. And yeah. so what do you do with the jersey? Do you got it? Do you wear it around, show your friends, like, hey, what's happening? Or, or... <laughs> wear it to the outdoor ring. <laughs> <laughs> no, my uh, parents put it in a, in a frame, and I think awesome. it's hanging up in their basement right now. Is this a 7-iron again? Oh, yeah. Use it anywhere. You can use a 7-iron anywhere. No. Oh. Woefully short. It's gonna come back. I can live that. That's a birdie. Is it? That's what I did in the card. All right, Mark. I need you on this one. Yep. Okay. Go. Yeah. Oh, I'm predicting big things here. Yep. This is going in. Big, big year. In, uh, into the green? <laughs> <laughs> On the fringe. In the fringe. This is where you get dangerous, though. This yeah. is where you really... <laughs> I'm predicting a par here. For someone? For someone. <laughs> Let's try and get this on. Oh, my goodness. I think I might be still away. That's a gimme. <laughs> it's an awful. Give it a good oh, try. Nice spots. Shoot! Not bad, not bad, but you okay. can't get off the uh, tee box in time. <laughs> You're really looking at this one. No, I'm feeling it. What does licking your finger do before you putt? Just to test the wind. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What do you think, Mark? A little meat left on that board. Are you too serious? I'd like to see it go Oh in. my god, you guys Ooh. are unbelievable. I can't believe you guys are making me put this in. I've never seen those white chicken legs rattle so much. Oh! You know what? There's Side a certain the way of playing golf with class and dignity, and you guys have not displayed that today. The only thing on display is poor golf by you two. <laughs> you weren't even involved in the first hole. You did win this one, though. I was so involved. congratulations. Yeah, not surprised. Strudwick has a one hole lead. We have one hole left. We're going to take a quick break. We'll come back and play the third and final hole on the Pro Am Golf Show brought to you by SLH. Adjusting, improving, adapting, growing. SLH Picker Service and Pile Driving is ready to work with you. Since 1985, SLH has built a reputation for being tough enough to handle any job, just like the tough Albertans we work for. Oil field hauling, pile driving, crane and picker services, with branches in Slave Lake, Wabaskin, Whitecourt, and Atchison. We've got you covered. Call today. Built to last. SLH. One of golf's greatest getaways is in your very own backyard, the Quarry Golf Club. Come enjoy 27 holes right along the River Valley. The brand new clubhouse can host any event up to 300 people. Tournaments, Christmas parties, business meetings, we've got you covered. Visit thequarryedmonton.com. Turn to the golf tournament specialist for your company or charity event. The Ranch Golf and Country Club has perfected the art of making your day a success. Visit theranchgolf.com for bookings. Gantork is the solution to your bolting problems. With the largest inventory of bolting products in Canada, we have what you need to work smarter, not harder. Cantork will get you back to work faster with quick turnarounds on repairs and service. Rent it, buy it, whatever the job needs. Founded and headquartered in Edmonton and made by people who care. Visit us in store or online at cantork.com. Torque it easy with Cantork. Problem solved.
Welcome back to the season finale of the Pro-Am Golf Show, brought to you by SLH. Nicely done. Impressive. We got a new co-host. This one doesn't have as much marble mouth. It's true. No, he does. He's very clear. <laughs> Today we're at the Trestle Creek Golf Resort with Buffalo Sabres defenseman Mark Pesic. After the first two holes, Strudwick has a one-hole lead. We are on an island green for this one. So let's play the third and final hole, brought to you by SP Coring. Are you guys going to show up? Oh, we're here. We'll see. So you say. Let's check it out. <laughs> Are you scared at all on this shot? There is no. a lot of agua. Over. I've got a run stroke lead. The worst thing that happens is we tie this because I'm winning. I'm just going to win it. Water. Going to catch the back right of the green? No, that's going to be bunker at best. Oh, oh, geez. Buried fried egg. Huh. I'll take it. <laughs> Boy. You just crushed just that ball. Just don't be in the set. Oh, oh, you're safe. That's good. Yeah. That's such a nice pin high. No more sand for you today. Yeah, that's good. Hopefully. Well, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Can she be water two for two? That's the question. Oh, oh wow. That looked good. Oh, oh, actually, no. I spoke too soon. Oh. No, I'll take that. <laughs> that's not bad. Is green good? I think it's off the back. No, I'll take so it. So green would be good. Green, green would be great. Good. Yeah, not bad. It's better than sand. Yep, yeah, that's for sure. Well, Mark, we covered the junior career. Now let's go on to the NHL. You just signed a two-year deal with Buffalo. One way. How good does that feel? Oh, it's awesome. Um, that's the. Uh, the goal after getting drafted is to get that first contract, and then after that one, you try to get a one-way, and my agent did a good job for me. So does it change the mindset heading to this training camp as opposed to the previous ones? Um, I don't think so. Um, every year prior, I've been going to training camp trying to make the team, and I think uh, there's still, uh, I'm not sure how many guys are on one-ways on the back end, so uh, you still got to make the team out of camp, and that's what I'm going to try and do. Now, what about your team in general? I mean, the Buffalo Sabres, you know, since you've been a part of the organization, have been, uh, you know, fairly weak group, to be nice, you know. But, you know, a lot of people, experts, think the team's trending in the right direction with some recent draft picks and players like yourself and some of the acquisitions they made. You know, do you feel and, and does your group feel like you guys are heading the right way? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think uh, Tim Murray's done a good job with sure. uh, the offseason here and the drafting. and. Um, the last two draft picks, uh, Sam Reinhart and Jack Eichel, should be uh, some pretty good players here. And um, like you said, hopefully it's on the way up and hopefully I can be a part of that. Walk us through your first NHL goal. Oh, we were down about 8-1, I think. <laughs> so you needed a goal. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so coach put me out. So we need one. Let's go here. So yeah. um, it was like the last minute or two and uh, I just took a one-timer from the point and it hit off the other team's D-man and went top shelf. So if you watch it fast, it looks like it went straight in, so it looks good. But if you slow it down, it uh, went off their defense. Their Did you want back. to celebrate like you just won the Stanley Cup? Yeah, I couldn't believe it. I was so excited, but uh, I think I tried to play it cool. <laughs> yeah, well, I think everybody gets it at that point. I mean, it's yeah. your first goal, and you guys are protecting the 8-1 yeah. loss, so you don't want to get too ugly. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, any other moments when you're on the ice and you looked across at someone you're lined up against and thought, oh, man, this is, this is actually happening. I can't believe I'm playing against whoever. Yeah, it was uh, Jerome McGinley for me. Oh, yeah. Uh, it started before the game. Me and my buddy were there a little bit early um, playing soccer, and he walked by, and uh, it sort of sunk in that I'd be playing him that night, and then sure. I saw him on the ice, and that was, I was thinking, what, what the heck am I doing out here against yeah. a guy like this that I've uh, grown up watching and idolizing, but. Uh, so basically what I'm hearing is you said you dominated that game. Yeah, I don't know what that, but <laughs> I played against him. <laughs> Wasn't your first game against Ovechkin? In the yeah, that was another one too. Um, didn't get out on the ice much against him, uh, thank God, but yeah. <laughs> um, there was one, I think, end of his shift, start of mine, where we were on, on the ice together and I was, knees were just shaking. <laughs> his <laughs> probably were too, though, in fairness. He's like, oh no. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> oh my God, I knew it. I just wasn't feeling it. Oh, sorry for the language, guys. That was terrible. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Devastating. Oh. I guess we could stay here. Yeah, Come on ahead. now. That's, I'm better than this. Now I have a worse lie. Come on. 
God. Oh, that's on. Big talk from the tee box, yeah. though. Oh. In this one. Sorry. I apologize to all my fans. We expect here. more. Mark and I will go to his shot. I He'll know. be here Thank for a while. You. Darn it. Okay, we, I, Mark, I really need you here, buddy. Focus, okay? Bite, bite, grow beard, grow beard, grow beard. That can be a three, yeah. No, that was way better than your shots. Well done. <laughs>we're gonna like it when this all settles not my hole guys <laughs> not my hole I'll pick it up I'm out I'll take a five. <laughs> oh darn it it's weird that the ball doesn't turn didn't even really have a chance lean your back <laughs> three <laughs> I need you man we need you right now please make this Oh. Do you, do you want to finish it? You can finish it if it makes you feel better. Good nice job. One. Nice finish. <laughs> nice wrap it up. Awesome. All right, so we finish off yeah. with Stradwick has a win. I've got a win. Mark, you looked great today. Yeah, you, yeah. Look, you look really That's nice. Right. <laughs> really <laughs> coordinated. <laughs> All right, we have a special guest for the shot of the show, and it's Hurley's Meat Distributors. I'll get you guys to come on in here. We've oh, got yeah. Ty Hurley here, representing Dad for Hurley's Meats. What do you think the shot of the show is? The shot of the show was Jason's 280-yard yes. drive. Um, right beside the green. Thank you guys. You made the right wow. decision. Wait, wait, Thank wait. you very was much. There, was there a 20 that he just yeah. No, I'll pay him later. Beside the green? And All right, let's later. take another look right. at this drive. Free lunch, free lunch. <laughs> okay, no one seems to have faith in me that I can carry this water, but... Uh, so you're going for the green? Sometimes you just got to make it happen. It's got to get the belt buckle going the right direction and everything should be okay according to Tony. Follow through, buddy. Oh, oh, oh my God. Oh, see ya, that is a monster. Oh! Oh, not on the green. What a monster that was. That's for all the non-believers out there. All right, Struts, good drive. Yeah, thank you. Didn't hit the green. No, but 280 yards is pretty good. I mean, I guess, unless you're Jordan Spieth, it's very impressive. <laughs> Wouldn't behind you. <laughs> oh. Well, Mark, I'm sorry that Strudwick wasn't a more gracious host. He was kind of a jerk to you all day. Yeah, that's all right. Thanks for coming out. Fun. Did you have fun? Yeah, it was awesome. Thanks for having me. Well, on behalf of Century Vision Care and Maui Jim Sunglasses, we got a sweet pair of shades for you there. Awesome. So thank you so much for coming out. Thank you very much for having me. We want to thank Trestle Creek for having us and Tony for the awesome tip. Don't forget, follow through, guys. Belt buckle. Follow through. It's hold, all about hold, the belt yeah. buckle. And thank you for watching. That's it for us for this season. We will be back next season. If you missed any of our episodes, they are all online at proamgolfshow.ca. You can also follow us on Twitter and Facebook at proamgolfshow. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next year. Boring. A good trick is just before you start. I, I can't do that. There's no way she's going to get this right. I just nailed that <laughs> off the top of my head. Okay. okay. You've learned from the best, Mick. Yeah. I'm a guy that didn't go to RTA. What's RTA? Yeah, 17 years professional hockey. This is what I'm doing <laughs> now. This is it. The joys. Hey, some days can be you, Mark Pesek. Over here with me. Well, there's another one. Here's a bigger one. <laughs> SP Coring. SP Coring? Coring. Coring? C-O-R-I-N-G. Coring. Nice. Right, so now time for the third hole. Brought to you by SP Coring. I know. Quarry, C O R. I said quarry. No. <laughs> Personality and looks, that's all they have. That's all they bring to the table, I'm sorry. He's, he's like this, yeah, he's like this. This is how. Yeah. 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 And then he gets over and he leans over. And <laughs>